Today we're coming from the NASB Turn to Acts chapter 4 2931 That's Acts chapter 4 2931 which says Grant that your bold servants may speak your word with all confidence while you extend your hand to heal and signs and wonders take place through the name of your holy servant Jesus. The place was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and begun to speak the word of God with boldness. Acts 4, 29-31 Father, I commit these issues to you. Terrorists throughout the world. Rapes, murders, poverty, hunger, famines. Wars and rumors of wars, and the peace of Jerusalem. I believe that nothing is impossible with you. Give us supernatural boldness and faith. I trust in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. John Knox lived in turbulent times. Born in 1514 near Haddington, Scotland. He was a priest before being called to the Protestant ministry. When Mary Tudor, a Roman Catholic, became Queen of England in 1553. Knox fled to Switzerland. When he returned to Scotland, in 1559, Knox became an outspoken critic of Mary's regime. Their conflict came to a head in a dramatic encounter in September 1516. 6-0. Does that sound familiar? It sounds like the story of Elijah and Jezebel. It has been said that Mary once admitted that she feared the prayers of John Knox more than all the assembly armies of Europe. Why such fear? Because she knew that, unlike the prayers of other people, his prayers were powerful and really made a difference. He was bold because he was confident in his relationship with God. Are you confident? in your relationship with God on today? About Knox, one English politician said, he put more life in us than 500 trumpets busting in our ears. Knox is known to have prayed, O oh Lord, give me Scotland or I die. He consistently repeated this audacious prayer. As a result, mighty spiritual things happened. Knox knew that nothing was impossible for those who prayed, stating confidently that a man with God is always in the majority. Today, God hasn't changed. He looks for men and women with the kind of boldness that characterized the prayer life of John Knox. This is a boldness willing to take on kings and kingdoms, even to assault the gates of hell. In your life, determined to be a person of faith, believe God boldly and pray with confidence and faith. Know for certain that with him, nothing is impossible. Father, I believe that nothing is impossible with you. The things that are impossible with men are possible with God, is what the scriptures tell us. And we're standing on this word today. Give us supernatural boldness and faith. In Jesus' mighty name, we trust you. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you.